Welcome back, everybody, to some of the Let's Play Super Mario 64, the last Mario 3D game I will ever play on my channel. <laughs> Fall into the Cage Island, the fifth star of Wild's Fortress? No way! Complaint about this star. Here we go. That's where, that's the freaking cage island. It's not a freaking island, man. It's a freaking floating cage. Call it what it is, Nintendo. Jeez. Second point, complaint. Are you ready? Let's go. Look, owl. What the heck? You never have to climb trees ever. Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleepy sleeps. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not start a flight with me? I'll right, take you wherever you want to go. As long as my wings hold out, watch my shadow and grab on. <laughs> no. Where is he? All right, Mr. Owl. Here we go. <laughs> Get it? That's what Mario says. That's why it's funny. Okay, so you can kind of awkwardly control this owl. Like I'm pulling left right now. He's turning left, and I'm not touching anything. Now he's flying straight. Oh, good lord! What the heck? Why do you fling me like to the side for? That was weird. I don't know, man. But he's kind of cool. He could travel all across the universe with him. What the heck? Okay, that was weird. Oh no. Okay. Whew. I thought. Well, I knew there was land here, but I thought I missed the land. The land master. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna wait like an hour for him to fly back. Ugh. Poor Mr. Owly. Okay, so yeah, if you haven't got the premises yet, you just gotta drop into the cage or onto the star. Whatever one really suits your flavor. The controls don't really work out too well. Like, I tried to stop turning once I actually saw the cage, but it didn't work. Eh. And for some reason, you always get tossed to like a weird angle, man. So I don't freaking know, man. Uh. <laughs> so that is my plate. Alright. I gotta wait another two and a half years. Come on, Mr. Flying Guy. I almost called him a turtle. Don't know why. What the heck? He just warped into existence. They're just like, I don't know, backflip. Oh no! Is he coming back? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, these short flakes are not very short. What does an owl eat here? I mean, there's no like mice or anything, and you know, should we just wait a little longer? He gradually flies back down. Like you'll see. Ah, oh, come on! I couldn't even see what was going on, man. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go get some more health. More hell. <laughs> you get it? I said a bad word, but I didn't actually say a bad word. Alright, Mr. Owl, where are you at? Those are butterflies. They can't support the void of a fat plumber man. There we go. Okay, third time's a charm, am I right, guys? <laughs> this might be the fourth try. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I just gradually wait for the owl. Just spin in circles. Get as low as we can. Can can! Yeah! There we go! High five! High five myself! I love life! It's all great! Fantastic! Fandily tastic! Yay! Jump back in! Here we go! <laughs> Blast away the wall of the last star! Complaints about this star! It's stupid! Complaints over! <laughs> okay. Oh no! Okay, there we go. So you guys should climb to the top of the trees. And using that, we could easily get up here. What the heck? No, I don't want to take a flight. I already did that, you silly guy. Oh god, I almost jumped right off the world. Alright, jumping down here. Ugh. So that's why I always want to jump for jumping into the cannon. Because if you don't, you'll hang on the side like a stupid. Which is weird. I was like, it makes sense when you're gonna... Well, that, there's my complaint, by the way. It's super obscure. You gotta hit that wall when you shoot with the cannon. It's weird. Wait, like, I understand hanging off the ledge if you're about to jump off into the world, but these walls should be special and programmed so when you're walking into it, obviously you're gonna try and walk into the cannon. Even if you accidentally walk into the cannon, it's fun as heck trying to play around with the cannon, so even if you do it by accident, it's not like a- Oh crap! Actually gonna have to shoot myself with the cannon again! Instead it's- Ah, oh, oh no, I mean, yes, I accidentally walked to the cannon. Now I could have fun with this game for once. No, this is not having fun with the game for once. Jump up there, Mario. <laughs> oh, come on. Here we go. All right, here we go. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Kill the prawn, pl ah, did I kill him? I did kill him. All right. Okay, the star's right there. So you can either hit it with the cannon, and if you aim just right, yeah, there we go. Even just right with the cannon, you can get it. 
but obviously I failed, so I just decided I may as well just walk up to it, waste less time. So, I generally try to go for like a 5 star average in each episode. At least that's what I was doing when, um... Uh, when I when I tried to record this multiple times in the past, <laughs> good lord, that was scary, and I failed at it. But uh, we're actually gonna go for our 100 coin mission now. And the reason why I brought that up is because the 100 coin missions completely slow that down. But uh, I don't know why five star average is nice and even, and it makes my OCD urges go away. It makes me less crazy. <laughs> Impossible. We're having the third coin. It's gone forever. Great. Alright, so our first 100 coin star, aren't you guys excited? You should be. If you're not, you hate me. Why are you watching this channel? Go away. Oh, don't squish me. I don't know. I don't think these guys instantly kill you if they stomp on you, but I'm not going to test it out. So this is why a lot of times people... Oh, go for the... Oh, no. Go for the red... This is why I'll... Oh, come on, dude. Eh. Ah, <laughs> This is why a lot of people go for the red coin star and the 100 coin star at the same time. Because actually when you get a 100 coin star, the game asks you if you would like to keep playing in the level or not. And so we can actually get two stars at the same time. What the heck was that, Shadow? I don't think there's anything that can fly at you like that. That was weird. But, uh, so, yeah, um, that's, what is, I have to know, what is it? Is it the owl? Is the owl up here? Hello? I must know your secrets game. Are you not gonna tell me your secrets game? That's weird. It's like a floating block. There's no mystery block besides the wind cap, wind cap blocks. But red coins actually count as two coins anyways. So I mean, just getting all the red coins gets you 16 coins, which is really nice. Uh, but you might be wondering, these guys give you five coins. Why not kill them over and over again? Well. I mean, if you haven't already figured it out because you're stupid, I'm just kidding, you're not stupid, you're a lovely intelligence creature. When you kill the same enemy and you collected their coin, it just won't give you a coin. However, that being said, let's say I killed that piranha plant right there and his coin fell on the ledge and I didn't collect it. If I kill him, it'll reappear. That's interesting. Oh, look, you can see where you blast away the wall. It looks like you can blast away the other wall too from here, doesn't it? Hmm. Maybe you can blast away the wall and it gives you like a one-up or something. Oh no! Oh, come on, game! Ah! Alright, we're gonna ignore that for now. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to that. Well, probably, we'll probably will have to. I don't think there's enough coins just down here. Down here alone. Eh. Let's also go down here. There's a block down here. We can toss up the wall to toss up the wall. Toss the wall, wall, toss the wall. Yay! This is actually the introduction of blue switches as well. We stimpity stomp on it. It makes coins up here. Yay! And that was, yeah, that brought me up to 80 coins. Isn't that incredible, you guys? Yes, it is. Um, I could use that cannon to shoot up, but I'm not going to because I'm scared. I'm a scared little, little baby boy. <laughs> I, I just don't want to risk dying. I'm already, almost have 100 coins ready. And as you would imagine, because this is only the second level, this 100 coin mission is really easy. And I saw that sneaky shadow again. Freaking sneaky shadow trying to be all sneaky and junk. Alright. What the heck? Well, at least I got two coins out of that. But jeez, man. Give me some coins. Give me some love, game. All I'm trying to do is collect 100 stars so I can finish this level forever. Hey, I guess I should also make... No! Oh! I guess I should also make note that in Super Mario Galaxy 2, this is a level they added into Super Mario Galaxy 2 for some reason. No one knows why. Dang it. If I can make that that backflip jump, you know. But apparently not. But uh, yeah. Oh, mm, oh, what is going- I hate when you walk into walls. Sometimes, not all the times, you'll get bumped backwards. And it happened twice there. I didn't even walk. Just the simple part of Mario getting up made him fall backwards again. I'm scratching my arm. <laughs> uh, just, you know, just, just the little things. Just the little things. I never understood when people said that this game doesn't age well. And I always assumed that it was graphics-wise. And I think most of the time people do mean when they say, like, you know, oh, this game didn't age well. I think they are talking about, like, the graphics. But I kind of see... How people would say it doesn't age well with just the, uh... 
What? What was what? What? What just huh? You get coins just by jumping on his back? How many coins do you get? A lot, apparently. Jeez, man. I feel like five is the max. Ah! No, look at me. No, don't turn around. Look at me. It's me. Ow. He squished me. Oh, come on, man. If he squishes me again, I'm going to be very sad about it. Okay, so five was the max. And then you also get an additional five coins. I did not know about that. That's cool. So you get ten coins from each of these guys. Wow. Totally should just come up here to begin with. Here we go! Here we go. You've collected a hundred coins! Mario gains more power from the castle. Do you want to see if that's weird? The way they were, that was really weird, man. So, you can just exit the course, and since you saved, it saves. Oh, no. Oh, no. Once this spotlight shines down... You got the wing cap! It's so exciting! Welcome to the wing cap course! Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks you will find will become solid. Try out the wing cap! Do a triple jump and press Z to land. Pull back the control stick, it's like flying an airplane, is what they say. What they don't tell you is that it's hell. So, my first time recording this, I got a little bit angry at the red coins. <laughs> here I'm gonna go ahead and say when the flying controls in this game are probably the worst flying controls I've ever experienced ever it's because you don't really fly it's like you glide so controlling it is very very difficult and I'm not doing a very good job of, like showing off how difficult it is because I'm about okay well never mind I was oh no oh no 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 <gasps> Woo! almost died there it's on a timer by the way <laughs> I'm gonna jump on the switch. You stepped on the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap can make you soar through the sky. I'm not turning the camera, that's happening automatically. Now wing caps will pop out of all the red blocks you find. Would you like to save? Hell yeah! So, yeah. Um, you don't really fly with the wing cap. You, you, um, you glide. So you slowly go down. I don't know where the last coins are. That's an issue. Oh, there they are. Okay. At this point, well, actually, as I say, at this point, we might as well wait for the wing cap to run out, but now nah, we don't have to do that. Ah! Okay, the triple jump also doesn't always work for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. This is on this round. Okay, whatever. Let's try this again. Please! Okay, as I was gonna say, I'm committing this time. And you can gain... Oh, no, I didn't do it properly. You can gain height, but it doesn't really work well. Like, I feel like I'm doing all I can to gain height right now, but it's not working, man. It just doesn't work. At least for me, I find it doesn't work. Like, it kind of worked there, but actually, if you noticed, we came back on top of the castle just now. With less height than, than what I started with. Please, please, please. Damn it! Alright, please make it back on top. We got- we're getting back on the castle with less height than what we started with. So no matter what, how much you, like, go on, like, to a- a dive bomb and then angle it upwards. I find that you can never gain any height with this. It's really frustrating and different. If you can, it's very difficult to do so. Way too difficult for a game such. Ah, oh, come on, man. For a game such as this. I don't know what I mean by such as this. I'm very hungry all of a sudden. That's an issue. One, two, three. Oh, no! <sighs> Also, the triple jump doesn't always work in this game either. I don't know why. Sometimes it'll just be a double jump, and then it'll be, ah, you don't need that last jump. There we go, thank you. Come on. Ah! <laughs> ah it's so frustrating. To be fair, oh no. oh no! I was just gonna say, doing a lot better than I thought it would be. There we go, getting cursed. That's weird, the spotlight didn't show. Oh, it's probably because I got the wing cap. Let's see if I could showcase how horrible horribly horrible it is to get these red coins sometimes it's like if you miss two of these coins like that you may as well start over because as far as I'm concerned you can't get them like, look how much look how much ground we've already lost come on like we've lost so much height already look see it's like okay let's try the dive bomb again and going up and let's see do we gain any heights where are the red coins they don't exist anymore they're just gone 
See, they're all the way up there. And see, no matter how much you dive bomb, you don't gain any height at all. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it. I feel like I'm doing it how the game's intending it to do, but I don't feel like it ever gets me any height. I don't know, I might just be really bad at the video games, which, you know, let's face it, is a complete lie. I'm great. Ah! Sometimes you can loop around in time to collect the coin you just missed. Most times you can't do it, but sometimes you can do it. <laughs> I think you have time to loop around once, but if let's say if I miss one of the coins or both the coins here, there's no way I'll have enough time to get the other two. Another thing I notice is if... Sometimes you can use the cap to get... Damn it! Get the lower two coins, but if you miss... Two minutes, yeah, see, I'm not gonna make it. Yup. Alright, there we go. Got the first two. I noticed they give you a lot more... <sighs> Damn it. I noticed they give you a lot more leniency if you miss it just on, like, the... Vert... Or, not the vertical. The, hor the horizontal axis instead of the vertical. Like, if you fly just under or below the coins, it'll be hard to get them. Oh, no. Come on. Am I, my wing cap better not run out. There we go! There we go! There we go! It's gonna make it there now. Hoo-wee! Wee little do Oh, no! Please! Oh, ho, 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 ho. So happy to get that over with. Oh! Holy crap. Okay. Gotta say, that, that star scares me a lot. <laughs> One of the few reasons why, even before I played this game and realized how much issues I would have with it, I always knew that cap would give me a lot of problems, and there we go, it gave me a lot of problems. So now that we have the wing cap, we actually go through here. It's actually kind of weird that they give you the first wing cap, or the first cap they give you, because there's three in the game. Uh, the wing cap definitely feels like something they take advantage of the most, <clears throat> of all the caps in the game. So, I don't know, just, just, it's weird to me that it's the first one you unlock at, like, 10 stars, I believe, is when you could first see the little beam of light. Alright, just throw at this wall. So, now we're gonna, now that we have the wing cap, we can actually 100% this stage. So, let us do that, shall we? And this is where it gets kind of a little bit confusing for coins. Uh, because you could, when you kill enemies, they give you, well, especially, like, the bombs, they give you coins. No, or even if they explode, they give you coins. Oh, I just want to turn around. Eh. <laughs> but uh, as soon as we turn around again, we'll see that the bombs respawn. But there's no way to tell if that enemy has given you coins or not, besides, you know, killing it again and seeing if it drops a coin or not. That's one minor annoyance I've always never really liked about this game when you're doing the 100 coin stars, especially in, like, levels where they don't give you a lot of coins that you can collect. Like, Wom's Fortress, I honestly consider that the easiest 100 to start on the game. It's really freaking... They give you coins everywhere. Eh. So what I like to do is just clear an area before moving on. Like, you know, I'm killing all the enemies I see in a row. So I don't have to worry about any of them. And once again... Red coins! Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised I hit that. Pretty fan-daily-tastic. Pretty fan-daily-tastic. Alright, I'm sorry, Koopa the Quick. Your time has come. We're going to die now. Where is he? There he is. Okay, you know, let's kill his let's kill his Goomba friend first. Oh no. Koopa, stop running. You must accept your fate. You must accept your fate. You must accept your fate! What the heck? You actually ride a shell, which it's kinda hard to control all the time. Okay, as long as I got that coin, I'm happy. I am so happy. It is pretty nice though, because you can just kill enemies! Oh! And then it's also really freaking hard to pick up the coins because you you just, you gotta go fast and stuff. It's freaking Nintendo's answer to Sonic. Uh, I never understood the the Sonic or the Mario vs. Sonic at the Olympics game because Sonic is supposed to be the fastest creature on the planet, right? Well, so how does that work then? Because I mean, Mario is very clearly going to be very slower. So, I mean, I guess it's not only racing, but still. Okay, there we go. So yeah, if you bump into anything with the shell, it goes bye bye, which I'm perfectly okay with because I don't really. Enjoy it that much. Do we get coins by climbing trees? I don't think we do. No. Okay, I didn't think so. I feel like maybe we get that in other Mario games. Like, maybe we get Star Bits in Super Mario Galaxy or something. Hello, Goombas! Run to me to die! It's interesting how enemies in 3D versus 2D 
they're very... They're a lot easier. Like a Goomba in these games... I mean, let's face it. Goombas have never been intimidating creatures. But to me, in 2D Mario games, at least they posed a bit of a threat. In this game, they're just pathetic. <laughs> Alright, so if you run around these poles enough, sometimes they'll give you coins. And gotta say, with these controls, these stiff controls, they, they, don't, they very rarely work. But you gotta ride, run a really tight circle around the poles too. Like, that one didn't give me anything. And then you have the issue of occasionally running into the pole... And other times, just the control, the controller will think you're trying to turn around. There we go. I don't know if all the poles just don't give you coins sometimes or something. Come on, game. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So just this one doesn't give you coins? That doesn't seem right. Maybe you got to run around them in a certain direction. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess I was just messing it up then, even though I totally didn't feel like I was. <laughs> oh, game, I love you. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to do on some of the future levels. Like, like I said in previous episodes, I had a lot of issues recording this. Whoa, that guy instantly exploded. He exploded. Um, come on, man. Stop with your water bombs. Stop that! Wow, uh, that guy's going to explode, and he doesn't even know why. He wasn't even chasing me. Uh, just, I don't know, a lot of, like, the later levels, not even the later levels, like, the first Bowser level, I had so many issues with you guys, you don't even know. I, I don't know, just, it just kept dying over and over again, mostly pertaining to the red coins in those levels. <sighs> just thinking about it now. Not looking forward to them. Not at all. But I gotta do them. 74 coins, eh? That's pretty good. Maybe we don't even need the freaking wing cap for this. I thought you did before. But I mean, I have a lot of coins. And I believe this is still a big... Holy crap, that launched me! Jeez. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of coins up the mountain, too, so... Maybe we don't even need... I feel like there's more than 26 coins up here. So we'll see what happens. Oh, there's even these boxes that I forgot about. Like, I knew there was a few bombs. There's some lines of coins. No! Now, 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 now! Okay, this is what I was talking about before, where you can see the red coin. There, look at that, all down there, all beautiful and such. We really only saw for a second, but whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Alright, I will destroy you, and you will not be able to shoot the cannon anymore. Just kidding, it's really dumb, but the cannon still shoots even without the person there to shoot it and stuff. <laughs> oh no, okay, well, I thought there was going to be more... Than enough coins up the mountain, but maybe I'm wrong. I think there's one more line of coins here. Nope, just a heart. Just a heart attack, and I don't think there's... No, oh, there might be some here. Nope. Okay, so there's no more coins here. Oh, no! That is really unfortunate. Dang, sucker. Dang, Gina. Okay, then. So, now we gotta take to the sky. And this is the reason why I can't do the 100 coins. I think, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think there's another 14 coins in this level, so... I guess you have, you still need the, the wing cap like I originally thought to get this turn. Wow, I almost long jumped right to that bubble bomb. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that cannon up there that I was talking about with the, the bomb bomb... I wish stopped firing after I killed him. It really should've. Uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's where all the cannon things come from. Okay. This is where you get the remainder of the coins. And also a star. Uh, this is gonna be really obnoxious. So... See those numbers there? That indicates... They're making progress. <laughs> Alright, let's... Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. It's really good to... Get a hundred coin star when not flying because the render distance on these stars are really bad. So if I got got the hundred coins start right in the middle of the air, like at the farthest points of this cannon shooting thing, it'd been bad news bears for everybody involved. Um, because then when you go into the cannon, you won't even be able to see the star. You have to fly really close to it to be able to even see it, which is really dumb. But, so you can't even see the rest of the coins. Like we didn't collect all the coins. You see how they appear right in front of me? Ah! There we go. Whoa! Hot boy! Hot dog! Alright, so there we go. That's a five point secret star thing. <laughs> where you have to just go over five points in the map. 
Oh, that was gonna hurt. Stupid water bomb. <laughs> Jeez. Get out of here. But yeah, you gotta touch five secret points in the level. There's actually a few of those in this game. Nobody likes them. They all suck because there's really... I mean, that one was easy because there was a pretty easy indication that, yes, there's five spots you need to touch. Anyways, this episode's really long, so I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy my content, the best way to support me is by leaving a like on the video and by subscribing to my channel. If you do that, I thank you so very much. Mario's gonna wave to you now. Look, he's waving at you very graciously. <laughs> Uh, if you want to see me play a particular game, the first link in my description leads you to a video that you could watch and then you could leave a comment down below telling me what game you'd like to see me play. Without further ado, I will say goodbye here. Bye everybody!